Drew, do you mind if we ask you a few questions? Not at all. What are you working on right now? Oh, right now, as you can see behind me, we're putting the finishing touches on our new Woodlands Activity Center, including this big, new, beautiful greenhouse. Wow. When did you first start working at Grand Hotel? I started at Grand Hotel in April of 2008. When did you first get into gardening and groundskeeping? Oh, basically my whole life. I grew up on over 100 acres in southwest Ohio and had eight hours of mowing to do each and every week, and I guess I just kind of loved it and wanted to keep doing it. Do you have a favorite garden at Grand Hotel? That's an easy one. Established in 2015, welcome to the Secret Garden. Beautiful. How many flowers are in the Secret Garden? We're about halfway done planting right now, and what you see is a mixture of impatiens and begonias that account for a little bit more than 2,000 flowers. And when we are finished with the rest of the annuals in the tropical section, it'll be about 3,500 plants. Do you prefer spending time in the gardens or on the golf course? Oh, that's a tough question. I love them both so much, but I would have to say that I prefer spending my mornings in the gardens. It's just so beautiful and peaceful and the birds are chirping. But then in the afternoon, I like to get out on the golf course and just make sure those greens are rolling okay. That's great. Do you have a favorite plant? Too many to name, but I will say the plant that our guests ask us the most, what is it, what is it? It's not something big and beautiful. It is this plant right here in the Secret Garden, Giant Butter Burr. I'd say about eight out of 10 people in here, their question is, what is that plant? I planted about 15 of these six years ago and they just spread like wildfire to take over this entire area. <laughs> Is there anything extra special about the Secret Garden? I would say this year, guests should be on the lookout for five new wood burnings done by my talented sister, Erin Rice. You'll find one of the bridge, two of the Round Island Lighthouse, but the trickiest one to find is gonna be the flying butterfly. How do you prepare for each season? Right now, I'm putting the finishing touches on our bulb order we are going to order roughly 120,000 bulbs to be planted this fall. All right, our last question for you. Do you have a favorite time of year on Mackinac Island? I would have to say, even though it's a lot of work planting those 120,000 bulbs, that fall is, I love the cool weather and planting all those just for the anticipation to see how beautiful they will be in the spring. Drew, that was great. Thank you so much for answering our questions. You're most welcome.